Another day, another snowstorm. We are under a winter weather advisory right now. Except this one comes with special guests. How are the roads? You are insane. Today is a balance of work. In case you're wondering, this is the professional way to do this. <laughs> and play. We really just saved our lives. Eight Honestly, we are about to eat <laughs> chips. And one very close call. I still got most of it left. <laughs> Subscribe and come along as we get serious. I'm just checking to see how much the tickets are to Nickelback. Nothing to see here. Because we are changing everything. Is that the face of excitement? Yeah, I'm so stoked. <laughs> Good morning. We're here to hang a mirror. <laughs> we are starting off things in the house today. Uh, this is actually the third mirror that I've hung in like the last week, but it is imperative that we get this mirror hung today so that my wife doesn't lose her mind. And so we are in here getting ready to mount this mirror in our bedroom. The only mirror we have in our bedroom no. It's actually the only thing hanging in our bedroom. This is a this is a mirror in our bedroom. Yeah, that's like the hallway to our bedroom. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else feels this way after they move into a new house or especially build their own house, but we are not allowed to put any holes in the wall unless we are absolutely positive that that is exactly the hole we want and it's the thing that's going to live there for the rest of our lives. And this is a feeling that we've both shared since finishing building the house because it's like beautiful and perfect and we don't want to mess it up, but that results in there being nothing on the walls, nothing personal in the house. And recently we've come to the conclusion that like houses are meant to be lived in and holes are part of living in a house. We can patch a hole, it creates a little bit more work, but it's better to have a house that is truly a home than just a house that is a shell that you're afraid to actually live in. So today we're starting even though it's been almost a year of living in here, to actually live in the house. <laughs> Perfect spot for the first one. Tried to put a drywall anchor in. There's a stud. So... There's two studs. No, there's just one <laughs> stud. And the fact that there's a stud I means that it just blew out the drywall. So there's a giant hole right here now. Well, we're getting over our fear of holes in the wall real fast today. <laughs> I was on a plane to California. I had all the time I'd ever need. Did you even know I was looking for you? I think that I was hiding in between. How long, how long, how long did you wait for? I finally have a couple new ideas for this bathroom and how to make it a little bit more cozy and less sterile. And we hung this beautiful little shelf with a photograph that my friend actually took in Bozeman, Montana. I'm all about printing art from friends as opposed to like getting something from TJ Maxx or Home Goods or just like a random online store. I would love to have personal art, even if it's not like professional stuff that friends or that we have made ourselves to me is so much more meaningful and so much more beautiful. Perfecto. You don't know what you don't know, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We have to go to Home Depot later today. We're gonna get a big plant and put it on one side and you'll never know it's a quarter of an inch off center. You're exactly right, because I didn't move this. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> I do still think that I'm going to wallpaper this eventually, at least just this one wall, kind of like a bold, bright wallpaper. But for now, I'm loving this little refresh. We're gonna get a plant for sure to put in the corner there. And in the meantime, we have one more very big change for today. You'll notice that we changed the layout of our couches. It just opens up the space so much. The only issue that we have now is that the TV Definitely has to move. It can't be like above the couch over there. So against all manufacturer's recommendations, we are gonna mount it over here 
right next to the wood burning stove. However, this is a temporary solution. We have some bigger plans in the future that are gonna involve not having a TV on this wall anymore, but until we can actually undertake those plans, this is gonna solve the problem. Uh, we're gonna need some really long screws that we don't have, so we're heading to Home Depot. All right, so we just left in the TRX and then I decided, actually, we need to pick up something that's gonna go in Brandon's bed. So, we're actually not taking the TRX, we're taking Brandon's truck. I'm gonna try and convince Allie that I need to get a new toolbox. Just checking to see how much the tickets are to Nickelback. <laughs> Nothing to see here. How much I love you. You have to go. <laughs> Allie's like, you can just take a couple of your friends. I don't need to go to this. You're going. You're gonna be a Nickelback fan by the end of this. I guess we're going on July 6th here in Salt Lake City to Nickelback. If anybody else is going, please, please come hang out with me. <laughs> This? That's it, baby. This is a monster. We have a lot of tools. <laughs> no You're to out of control. Not only did we get the toolbox, we got a bunch of the stuff that we need to finish the electrical, and Allie got a peace lily and several other plants. So. And you got the stuff to mount the TV. And we got the stuff to mount the TV, which was just a handful of screws, so. What we originally went to Home Depot for. Yeah, but you know, I mean, we need this toolbox. Oh, okay. We do. <laughs> okay. We've got a lot, of, got a lot of stuff. I believe that part. And uh, we need a place to put it, so. Hopefully Brandon and I can get it unloaded. Brandon and I had the help of a gentleman to get it into the truck, and it was extremely difficult with all three of us, so we'll see what happens at the house. We made it back from Home Depot and unfortunately that toolbox was really difficult and really heavy to get into the truck. So we're gonna wait for a neighbor or two to come help us and unload it later. And in the meantime, Trent is wasting no time remounting this TV to our new spot. He's super excited about it. Is that the face of excitement? Yeah, I'm so stoked. <laughs> Mr. Leo, Mr. Leo, Ooh. Can you clap your hands? Yeah, clap, clap, clap. Cl that's more. You want more? We got our windows down, driving down the 405, sing along to the radio. Mm -mm. We're gonna make it someday, nothing's gonna get in our way. We will be the biggest band in time. Round and round the world we'll go, putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't miss out, just be there. What this is also another five minute project. It's taking a little bit longer than expected. the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. A lot of people don't even know that this is finished, but it is. Yeah, so a lot of people think that this is like some weird cinder block wall that we built our house with. <laughs> But it's not. We were gonna do brick and then whitewash it, and it was gonna take way too long to do all the individual veneer brick. My wife was pregnant. It was a crazy time in our lives, <laughs> and we just needed to finish this house. So we got these big bricks, tiles, cinder block looking tiles, and I did such an amazing job on this that you can't even tell it's tile. People comment all the time, when are you guys gonna finish that wall? That exposed cinder block doesn't look very good. And it's like, well, I guess we picked the wrong tile or Trent just did such a good job that it really looks like exposed cinder block. Basically, we're just telling this story because trying to drill this drill in between the grout lines right here is most likely going to shatter a couple of these tiles. Excellent. And uh, this wall is gonna look like garbage for the rest of our lives because I'm not fixing it. Yes, we and are. And that's just the way it's gonna be. We're, put it, we're doing brick eventually. 
Allie's doing brick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly what we didn't want to happen, but it happened. We knew it was going to happen. Yep. It's not the end of the world. House for sale. <laughs> I don't want to drive you away when we both know I do the same for A struggle. There you go, Allie. Hope you're happy. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's fine. <laughs> what do you think, Sydney? It's all riding on your opinion. <laughs> oh, no, it looks great. <laughs> you're hired. I'll be completely honest with you guys. There's only two screws holding this thing in, but they are five inch lags. Like, one of those lags into a beam and like Brandon and I could probably both hang on it. So these two lags into studs are going to hold the TV and the sound bar without a doubt. And I'm just making sure that after plugging everything in, it still works. Don't mind what we're watching. <laughs> there. All right. We are going to do some cord management, obviously, mm -hmm. to get rid of the, the cords. But I think for now it looks really good. This is so You know, the layout in the house isn't perfect, but our life isn't perfect. No one's life is perfect. And rather than spend a bunch of money on new furniture and trying to reorganize a space that really is just too small to fit very much, I'd rather just make it work. We bought that new mount, which was definitely the cheapest possible thing we could do compared to buying new couches. And the fact that the TV is gonna be there for just a couple more months is fine with me. Hopefully the snow melts soon and we're almost done with fire building season. But in the meantime, I'm really happy with it. I, I actually love the way it's turning out. I love the new plants we picked up today from Home Depot. I don't know what else to say. I'm just happy. I'm happy about the way things are turning out. Uh, a piece of conduit on our wire there sticking out. We've got our gas line mounted. It's almost like uh, the third time around we kind of know what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so we got the conduit installed on the heater up there. It looks extra professional. I feel really good about it. All the connections are tight and it's looking nice. Um, we have a lot of other electrical stuff we could be doing and it's probably going to be about another hour before my neighbor is going to be able to come help us unload the toolbox. So we're going to start doing some electrical. <laughs> All right, so we got done running basically all of the wires. It actually looks really crazy from down here. You can see like from the panel, there's just this big bundle of wires that goes all over upstairs. There's a lot of wires in this place. There's probably as many wires and circuits in the garage as there is in the house, if not more. And uh, we've still got plenty more to add. So the panel's getting full. Luckily they have these breakers where you can get like two circuits in each breaker. Some of them you can get three circuits on a breaker if it's like a dual pole breaker and then a single on each side, which is really cool. So now we are just waiting for my friend Cody, one of my neighbors who is actually gonna come and help us unload this uh, toolbox. Hopefully we can do it without breaking everybody's backs. Yeah. Boy. What's up, guys? Hey, 
big guns, huh? Rip out the big guns. Are you gonna help? What's up? Just ready to lift. <laughs> All right, well, you brought the muscle. Yeah. Ready to go. Have you never heard that saying before? Well, a princess is never early nor on time. Yeah, I've definitely. She simply arrives. <laughs> I've adopted that. <laughs> I like that. It comes with the long hair. It does. <laughs> Either a forklift or a princess. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, this is intense, huh? All right. You slipping? I'm gonna jump down and get this other end so it don't have to. So, you guys pick all the way up. Okay. And then I'll get to the back side. Okay. Like so. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're good. Holy finger. Wow. I knew it would be easier than Cody. How strong are they? Cody did really it strong. <laughs> so cold. I think this thing weighs just as much. Is that even heavier? Crazy. Yeah. Is it probably oh. a little bit more? Yeah. My daddy oh, yeah. Your daddy's holding it. Yeah, he is. Is your daddy strong or what? <laughs> He's funny the other way. He's big and strong. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Alright. Thank you. Hey, man. <laughs> big help. Bye, bye. bye guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. See ya. It goes without saying that we couldn't have done that without Cody, and I'm so grateful that he brought his kids over here, came and hung out, helped us get the toolbox out. They're like the best neighbors ever. And this toolbox looks kind of good in this spot. It doesn't look bad, huh? Not at all. At the end of the night when Leo is finally asleep and I have a little bit of time for self-care is when I get to really enjoy my nighttime routine, which starts with washing away all the stress of the day with my face brush by Tao Clean. And Tao Clean is the sponsor of today's video. The Tao Clean Ona face brush comes with a portable base station that keeps your brush clean and dry between uses. It's two modes, super clean and sensitive clean, sweep through pores to dislodge dirt, makeup, and dead skin cells. You guys know that I'm a bit of a clean freak and that's why this is the only brush system that I use on my face because it comes with a UV sanitizer light that actually cleans the brush and the bristles when it's not in use. So it's always clean when you put it on your face. Tao Clean gives you all these different options for brush heads. My personal favorite is the sensitive bristles because I do get a little bit red and inflamed very easily. So this is perfect for my skin on basically a daily basis. Tao Clean has been an awesome addition to my nighttime routine and if you're interested in something for a little Valentine's Day gift, they have this sleek black version for all the guys that take care of their skin as well. If you want to pick up a Tao Clean face brush, click our link in the description or go to TaoClean.com slash Trentonelli and use code Trentonelli for over 63% off. It's an amazing deal. Thanks again to Tao Clean for sponsoring today's video. We'll see you guys in the morning. What's up guys and good morning. It is another day, another snowstorm is on the way. We are under a winter weather advisory right now. The forecast is three inches, but uh, normally we get you know double or more of that. So probably between six inches and a foot of snow is what we should expect over the next day or two. I'm excited. It's been like four or five days of no snow. Yeah. I'm ready for more snow. Yeah, the storms are back. Cool. So. Not a big deal. We're uh, warming up the garage. I'm about to head out there. Brandon just showed up and we're gonna be working on electrical again. But we have a surprise guest. Are you ready to see her? Look. 
Do you know who that is? <gasps> Nana! You guys are crazy. How are the roads? You are insane. <laughs> Holy guacamole. <laughs> My mom is up here to hang out with Leo and us for the day, and she is a trooper. Like we said earlier, there's another winter weather advisory. It is snowing again. She is from the East Coast. She has a very capable car, but these roads are pretty difficult, even if you're from around here, even if you drive them every day. Major kudos. The only thing that kept me going was I had to get the cookie dough up here. <gasps> That's what we're talking about, Leo. Yay! Isn't that Matt nice? That is amazing. You should like hold deck. The whole deck should be a heated mat. <laughs> Brandon and Trent are already outside, I think doing electrical. Oh my gosh. I know everyone thinks we're crazy for living up here, but there's something just so beautiful about being up here. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Hello. Now that we've got our toolbox set up, Brandon and I just spent the last like hour getting all of our tools consolidated and loaded into the toolbox. Do you love it? Yeah, but the problem is we need another one. Trent, no. No, I'm serious. No. It's chock full. Absolutely no. And there's more tools. There's tools downstairs Give still. Give some tools away. <laughs> Now what are you working on? I'm wiring up the circuit that's right behind the toolbox so that I can actually power up those outlets okay. so that I can plug in the surge protectors that are in the box. I can use the light and I can use battery chargers and stuff in that spot. Cool, okay. All right, so when we installed this panel, it was temporary, but there's something that I've learned in life is that there's nothing more permanent than a temporary solution. <laughs> so unfortunately, we have to change this because of our inspection. So during our four-way, the guy is gonna come in here and he's gonna say, oh, you know what, those are URD cables and uh, those aren't SER cables. They don't have a sheathing over them, so you have to be in conduit. So I went and bought some of this flexible two-inch metal conduit and what we're gonna do today is disconnect all those wires from the panel, pull them all back out, wow. put that conduit on all of them. Oh my goodness. And then hopefully we can get them back into the same spot that they came out of. What a nightmare. Should work in theory, but we'll see what happens. We've got the panel completely shut off. We shut it off down at the street. Now we just have to Whoa. get our... Uh, <laughs> Our massive wires out of here. Oh This easy. <laughs> done it months ago. <laughs> 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 a little yes. hot, huh? Oh, it's just a struggle fest. It's working. Everything in my life, basically. <laughs> Now we've got the two conductors, ah, the neutral and the ground. I guess that's three conductors and the ground in place. I've got our conduit clamp right here, ready to receive our conduit. Now you just got a shimmy. And it's looking a little rough. <laughs> hey. In case you're wondering, this is the professional way to do this. <laughs> Idiot. Who? Everybody. <laughs> there it is. All you 7,000 people that told me we needed conduit on these wires. Thank you. 
You were right. <laughs> and we are fully connected. Nice. Fully conduited. All right, they're gonna put the panel cover back on, kind of tidy up for a second. Their hands are completely black because that conduit just had like oil or grease all over it. So they need to wash their hands before they get anything else super dirty. And I think my mom is inside with a special treat for everybody. Fantastic in here. Uh oh, you're probably not gonna like that. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. You a skier? Are those your ski poles? Big fan of oatmeal chocolate chip. How do you shake it? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> They're having a blast, and those cookies were delicious. We are fueled up and ready to hit the road. There's supposedly a big freight delivery at UPS. And so even though it's snowing, and probably not the best time, to go pick up a huge oversized heavy package. We have to get it out of their way. So we are heading down the mountain right now. Whoa. Yep. A little slick. Well, we're heading down the mountain and we ran into some guys that are actually stuck in their driveway. They're at an Airbnb rental and uh, just like kind of digging a hole and unable to get out. So we're in Brandon's truck, which doesn't have the same straps that we have in our truck, uh, but we're gonna see if we can get something together and, and try to help them get out of here. Pressure's on, Trent. Thanks for doing this, you guys are so nice. Oh, of course, we're happy to help. I hope it works. I hope so too. We're missing our movies. <laughs> yeah, so just put it in floor low and idle backwards and Trent's just gonna slowly try to walk it out in reverse with a little tension on the strap. Oh boy. Yeah! Yes. Woo! You think that's enough? Do you want to reverse any more and see? I think, I think, no, I think we can get it out. Okay. So now we should just like, you know where your Airbnb is? This is our Airbnb. Is it? But I'm like, <laughs> don't drive back into yeah, that hole. No, I'm like, yeah. thinking, like okay. we might have to leave this place, bro. Yeah, Let's just pack it up. I'm yeah. thinking we might have to pack it up. Just if this is all yeah. we have, I would leave. Because, like, it's supposed to get worse throughout the day with the snow. So we're gonna have to get snow for the next days, days right? Yeah. Just get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just try to position it. Let's just like hold on. I'll, I'll pull it out. Yo, could you like, yeah, could you like put it so we can just easily get out of here? Yeah, for sure. We're from Jersey. This is like out of our wheel. I'm from, from LA. LA. <laughs> no snow. This is crazy. Got here yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, it's just so slick. Snow. Oh, you're just digging uh, now. I don't know if you I told you this yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> like, one night. <laughs> okay, back up. Okay, you're good. Number two. Excellent. Wow. Thought we were done for. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, we have no food. Oh we my didn't, gosh. We got here last night, so we have no food in there. And we have uh. chips. <laughs> we're like, all right, we're gonna have to start rationing chips <laughs> and surviving up in the wilderness of Utah. Wow. I don't know, this yeah. is crazy. <laughs> no, thank you so much. Yes, no, of course. No. Well, what's your, what movie should we look up? Betty and uh, so it's gonna come out next year. Betty and Blue. Okay. Written and directed by Cole Swanson. Okay. And we're Pine Love Entertainment producers. Okay. Uh, it's my producing partner, Joe Poku. I'm Dane Clark II. And we have some cool things in development. So you'll hear some news soon. Yeah. Dude. Cool guys. Dude, nice to meet you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Trent. <laughs> you said Allie? Allie, yeah, Trent and Allie. Thank you, Allie. Of course, thank you guys. Be safe. You really just saved our lives. Honestly, we were about to eat chips. <laughs> good luck getting you out. Drive safe. Nice to meet you guys. 
Well, that was nice. We didn't really have the right tools for the job, but luckily we were able to throw a tie down strap on those guys. They weren't super stuck. We pulled them out of the driveway that they were in. They're vacating their Airbnb. I think they're gonna go to a hotel or something, but I'm just glad we could help them out. unexpected ending to the day. How are you feeling? Cut my finger a little bit. <sighs> I'm fine. It's crazy that we've like never had any major instances or like issues on the property during construction, anything. Uh, and I was inside and Trent walked up to the front door and goes, Allie, I need a paper towel. I was like, okay, not a big deal. Here's a paper towel. And then he goes, and the trauma kit. I was like, what? What did you do? There was just some uh, like banding wire uh, around the bumper, around the box that the bumper came in. So I went to cut it and I was using a razor blade that's not very sharp. And a dull razor blade or a dull knife is like literally one of the most dangerous tools. And so when I went to try and cut the, the band, the blade like kind of skipped on the band and then like hit my finger. I still got, I still got most of it left. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna live. But I did start breaking down some boxes and opening some things out there. And I have something to show you. Oh boy. This is one of the new seats for the Toyota. Really? Go ahead, take it for a test spin. Are there little massagers or something? Your feet will be closer to the ground. They are heated. They're heated? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> They're very comfortable. Really? Nice supportive back, yeah. Good. Is this like a five part, five point harness? Mm -hmm full-on don't, die, don't die situation. Good, good, I respect that. Rain, brink, 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 brink. <laughs> got some new seats and a new bandage. <laughs> Pretty successful day. We got the conduit put on the electrical wire. We got a bunch of the electrical kind of installed in the shop. We basically have uh, one more day with Dean, I think, and then a punch list to get ready for our four-way. I'm really excited for our four-way, and I really hope that the inspector doesn't show up and say, hey, you can't have that lift in here, and you can't be working on your truck in this garage because it's not, like, fully done. So we'll see what happens. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys, we love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.